Hi, my name is Babur. I'm a developer advocate. In this video, I will guide you on how to enable and monitor API health checks using API 6 and Prometheus. API health checks are part of proactive approach to monitoring the overall health of your APIs. They ensure you stay informed about your overall API health and can identify any problems during the early stages. API 6 has a health check mechanism that can achieve the same. API 6 periodically can check and send requests to the backend services they manage. If the healthy status is returned typically 200 OK HTTP status code, and it means service is considered to be healthy. If the service fails to respond within a specified time frame, or if it returns an error status, it marks it as unhealthy. It will stop routing the traffic to that service to prevent application errors or slowdowns, and it routes the traffic to healthy node automatically. Also, it integrates with Prometheus through with its plugin that exposes upstream nodes, in our case, multiple instances of your backend API services, and it exposes the health check metrics on Prometheus. One of the benefits of API 6 is that it makes the process of configuration Prometheus even easier. For the demo, we are going to use existing uh, GitHub repository under my account. You can find API 6 Prometheus API health check and this project leverage is predefined a docker compose configuration file where you can set up deploy run api 6 etcd and, and other services like a prometheus with a single command docker compose app before running this project some of the prerequisites uh, you might have uh, it's good to have the basic understanding of api 6 what's the api gateway and the concepts like uh, route, upstream, admin API, and the plugins, so on. And make sure that you have Docker installed uh, on your machine. And we're gonna use uh, curl commands to send the request against API 6 admin API, or you can leverage uh, Postman or similar tools. So first thing, you need to clone the repo and open in your favorite editor. In my case, I am using Visual Studio Code and the, I open the project in my editor and I need to run docker compose app to bring my project uh, up and running uh, if I do docker compose app it will run all these necessary components and in my case I am using docker desktop as you can see on the docker desktop uh, all these uh, components are up and running and when you start the project of course docker downloads any images it needs to run uh, you can see the full list of services uh, in here on the docker desktop to check api health periodically api 6 needs an http pass of the health endpoint of our upstream services if you navigate the upstream folder i have two upstream services uh, and so we need to add first add uh, the health endpoint as you can see this backend services can be any backend service built on any programming language framework so from there you can inspect most uh, relevant metrics for that service such as you can write some logic for memory usage or database connectivity maybe response duration and more when you think that your api is healthy these two backend services are running on uh, different ports. For example, if you navigate to localhost 9981, you can see uh, simply uh, respond from the uh, web one service, just saying hello. If you change the port to 82, uh, you get a response from the second service. Assume that we have two these backend uh, REST APIs, web one and web two, using the demo project. And similarly, both services has a health API endpoint. As you can see, when you uh, navigate and do health, also you will get the same response. And at this point, you don't need to make any additional configurations. In reality, you can replace with your backend services this Web 1 and Web 2. Next step, we need to set up health checks on API 6 side. This process involves checking the operational status of upstream nodes. 
uh, that in our, our case is to backend services. So here's an example of uh, creating upstream object with two nodes. As you can see, uh, web one and web two services are, and they are running on different IP addresses. And configuring the health check parameters in upstream objects looks like this. Uh, you can see uh, under check object, we are creating active health checks. IPS6 has two types of health checks. One is active and passive. You can read on the documentation. I'm leaving out the, the link in the video description. So what does it mean uh, in this example configuration, active health check we are specifying on HTTP path slash health, which two backend services exposes. And it considers not healthy after one successful health check and it makes unhealthy after two failed health checks. So it's uh, quite simple. And then it checks uh, every uh, two seconds uh, to see if the API is healthy or not. And there's a timeout if the my API endpoint is not responding. So let's run this curl command to set up API 6 health check for uh, upstream nodes. If I Put on the terminal, press run, API 6 response OK, which means uh, we created uh, upstream with two nodes and we enabled the active health check. This curl command you can find in the tutorial uh, example. I'm leaving out also the link in the video description. Next step, we need to enable Prometheus plugin by creating global rule to enable the plugin on all routes by adding here on Prometheus and we're creating global rules object. Let's uh, create our global rule for enabling the plugin. If I click and run this on my terminal, APS6 responds OK. So now it's time to create our sample route. Just a sample route that routes incoming request to the our upstream that we created in step one right and every request coming to that route uh, if it is http get request will be forwarded to the upstream service i will run this global command now and create uh, my route and now i can also validate uh, if this request actually forwarded to the backend service by uh, sending a simple curl get command to the same route. An API 6 API gateway should respond to my request uh, by taking the, uh, the response from service one. Uh, as you can see, if you run it a couple of times, you can see even uh, API 6 switching between service one and service two uh, by actually loading the balance. API 6 routes some request to uh, node 1 and some request to the node 2. Once the health checks and route are configured in API 6, you can employ Prometheus uh, to monitor the health checks. And API 6 starts automatically expose health check metrics data for your APIs. If the health check parameter is enabled, uh, for the upstream nodes as we did uh, in the first step. And you can see the C metrics in the response after fetching them from API 6 and it's exposed to 991. Uh, on this pass, you can also customize this pass to have something else. It's just about default. Uh, Prometheus metrics will be exposed to slash API 6, slash Prometheus and metrics. If I run this another curl command, uh, as you can see uh, here, uh, upstream health check no, nodes in the output is represented. As you can see with a metrics label, API 6 upstream status, uh, and with a name of the upstream, IP address, and port, and the value of one, which represents healthy. If you see zero means upstream node is unhealthy currently. To visualize this metrics, on the Prometheus dashboard, you can navigate to localhost 1990, which means uh, our Prometheus uh, dashboard is running. So, and then you can also type some sort of expression with a matrix label. We are interested in our case API 6 uh, upstream status, 
uh, and if you execute the search uh, as you can see actually uh, the API 6 upstream status is are also available in the table view on the uh, Prometheus dashboard also you can see the graph uh, how these health check endpoints are uh, actually uh, visualize it here. Until now you have learned how to set up and monitor API health checks with Prometheus and API 6. An API 6 Prometheus plugin is also configured to connect to Grafana to visualize some of the metrics coming from your APIs like uh, API 6 uh, can expose the request per second, like latency, bandwidth of your APIs responses. Also, you can keep the exploring the data, customize the Grafana dashboard by adding additional panel that shows the number of active health checks. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about API 6, and please subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell to receive notifications about new videos.